Today we're gonna make Italian stuffed peppers. This is one of my favorites and my family's favorites. Here's all the ingredients. Let's get into it right now. Okay, stuffed peppers, the quintessential Italian American dish, though I'm sure they make stuffed peppers in Italy as well. These are large peppers. And so by cutting six of them in half, we have 12 half stuffed peppers. They're gonna be stuffed with ground beef. You can also use sausage, which is really nice. We did stuffed cubanella, which are thinner skinned peppers, so they don't take as long to cook. And we did those with sausage, but this dish is gonna be with ground beef. So I have 80-20 ground chuck here. I have one and a half pounds of that. I also have four cups of marinara sauce. You can literally even just open a can of high quality plum tomatoes, crushed tomatoes, and use that. We have two cups of white rice, one cup of shredded mozzarella right there, one cup of beef base. I'm using beef base, but beef stock, anything is good. We want it to be like beefy. You could even add things to really increase this more like anchovies or Worcestershire sauce. We have a cup of finely ground Pecorino Romano, so that's about 90 grams worth, and you want a lot of that in here for a lot of flavor. And speaking of a lot of flavor, we have eight cloves of garlic that I minced. Lots of garlic in this one. You could also use onion if you like. And then I have Sicilian oregano right here, but you can use regular oregano or whatever type that you can find. Basil from my garden and parsley from my garden. This is everything. Uh, I might've missed like hot red pepper and olive oil. Uh, you could use white wine in here too. Maybe we'll put a little bit in there after. So what we're gonna do is we have to do two things here. We have to brown the beef and we're going to par cook these peppers. You need to cook these in boiling water for eight minutes. Doing this step will save you a lot of time. Let's do that. And while they're parboiling, let's brown the beef. I'm gonna heat my pan up to about medium, maybe a touch more than medium. I'm gonna make sure it's centered on here. This is a massive pan, these 14 inch pans, but it'll allow us to spread the beef out, get a little color on it, though you don't need to get color on it. You really don't. Stainless steel needs to heat up properly before you put anything down, before you put your fat down, beef, whatever. Otherwise, it'll all stick. Taking a touch of water here, and you see that, how it goes like that? That means it's perfect. If it evaporated immediately and started smoking, it would be too hot. But that's pretty good here. I'm just gonna use a touch of olive oil. Okay, and I'll just try to get it evenly on my pan. And here's the beef. I'm just gonna spread it out. You could also just kind of crumple it up in, into pieces to get a little bit better distribution. We'll just let it go for a couple minutes, then we'll start turning it over. All right, it's been about three minutes. You see a lot of brownness in the pan and all that. There's a lot of fat in here. So this is 80-20 beef. So this thing's awesome. It just, it really is. It makes short work of everything. Now you can just turn over and see like we have no sticking because we heated our pan up properly. And you know, you got a little bit of brown spot. You got some nice action there, but not too much. You know, whoop, let's get over there you like that. So that's looking good. Then we get back to heat off just a little bit here and let's get our garlic in. So if you were gonna do onions in this too, then you could just do your meat first and you could remove the meat from the pan, then you could add your onions, wait a few minutes, then put your garlic in. But doing it this way, the garlic will uh, get cooked enough just in about a minute or two. It's ooh, super fragrant. And you know, you don't even need to do it this way. You can just put it in, in the mix after. There's a lot of ways to do things. I hope that's the one thing you'll get from this channel is that there's no superior way to do anything. You know, there really isn't. So now the recipe itself, the print recipe has no wine or anything, but right now that would be a nice time to put a little bit and I'm gonna use a little bit here. Do you not think you have to use it? You can just follow the recipe exactly as is and you will be fine. Okay, just keep your head back. So now I'm gonna turn the heat up and we're just gonna boil this out and we're gonna be able to remove all the brown bits from the bottom of the pan. I have a flat edge spoon here, so it makes it really easy to do this. Okay, and that's all we had to do there. Just 30 seconds, all right? Turn this off. Your meat is cooked through, so now we can put our other ingredients in here and we can start tasting this. We gotta make this stuffing taste amazing before we dare put it in the peppers because then our peppers won't be as good as they can be. Recipe calls for a quarter cup of packed basil leaves. So I probably have here, I probably have about that much. So if I like kind of like round these up like this, that's about a quarter cup of packed leaves. Okay, and same thing for the parsley. So I am using these stems here because we're braising these in the oven for like 30 or 40 minutes. When you have stuff from your own garden, you gotta check for bugs a lot because unless you're using a lot of pesticides outside, you're gonna have 
some favorites like the parsley worm. You do not want them in your food. Okay, so we have our herbs here. The recipe calls for two and a half teaspoons of salt, kosher salt. Just put all this in here too. It doesn't matter the order you put all these ingredients in either. So we're gonna do one cup of sauce, which is about two of these. Okay, there's one and then two. That's about one cup of sauce. One cup of beef broth or that low sodium beef base. I know it's like I'm putting a ton of liquid in here, right? It looks like it's too much. If you don't have enough liquid, they're gonna dry out. All right, here's our two cups of white rice. Peppers are right here. They are draining, okay? Just let them drain. Go like turn them upside down. Just let them cool a bit just so you can handle them so we can stuff them. So you can see there's still a lot of liquid in there, but when we put this cup of cheese in there, it's gonna soak it right up. That's a cup of Pecorino Romano. That's from the store. It's Locatelli brand. If you can't, you know, buy your own block and do it. Just remember, if you're gonna grate with a microplane, you're gonna have to grate probably two cups worth to equal the one cup of the finely grated. Because again, there's a lot of air in it too, just like we were talking about the basil before. Same exact issue. And then here I have the Sicilian oregano. The flowers of the oregano, I'm just going like this and I'm gonna put in about two teaspoons worth. Just do it any way you can without getting the stems in. Now, listen, if it's a little strong. If you don't like it, don't use it. Just stick to the parsley and the basil, but I like all three here. Let's start with that much, you know, and that's what I'm saying. Let's make it taste the way you like it. I'm gonna make it taste the way I like it right now. So I'm gonna mix this together. There's one thing I forgot was the hot red pepper. The recipe calls for a quarter teaspoon. I don't think that's enough. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do like that, like three quarter teaspoon. Mix it and taste it right now. This is already cooked, so we can just taste it very easily. That is delicious. All right, so let's uh, stuff these up. Set your oven to 375 degrees and set the one rack to the middle level. The other one you could put towards the top because after they bake fully, then you can broil them at the end to get them you know, perfect. So we are using a little bit more salt here. If you don't wanna do this, you don't have to, but it's, it is an important step. And really, these peppers are still a little warm. Like I just, you can run them under cold water just a bit. Make sure when you do that, that you're turning it over, you're getting all of the water out. You can even take a paper towel and just go in there like that. So just put in a little bit of salt in each one because the peppers are very bland. We're not gonna cook them in this. I actually have this over here because we're gonna cook them in the sauce. So I think this, this is like a quarter cup. This will work well. Do one scoop per pepper, then go back, do them all to even it up. An ice cream scooper would probably be even better if you have it. It was a perfect amount of stuffing, but I did make a mistake here. I forgot to uh, follow my own recipe. We gotta get the sauce in here. There wasn't enough room to put it in, so I'm just gonna remove some of the peppers so I can do this. Four cups of sauce. We put one into the stuffing, so we have the last three here. Depending on what type of sauce you use, I'm gonna recommend you use water, and the recipe calls for a three-quarter cup of water being added in here. Now, some people will make these with no sauce at all. I do prefer sauce on with them, just a little bit. Like, you have the leftover bit at the end to spoon on top of the peppers. If for some reason you have way more sauce than this, just don't cover the pepper, like the top of the pepper. Okay. If you wanna put a little bit of more wine in here, you could do a little bit more, you could put it kind of like drizzle that in there, just a little bit. And that's nice, it's gonna give it a really good flavor. If you don't wanna use any wine, don't use any. And then we have the mozzarella cheese, okay? This is one cup of the shredded mozzarella. So it's just enough to like put a little bit on each one. Start slow on how much you use so each, each pepper gets at least a little bit of it. Okay, and then the last thing is extra virgin olive oil, just a touch on top of each one. Okay, what I'm doing here is I'm just putting a piece of parchment paper on top. That's just gonna prevent the foil from sticking to the mozzarella and removing it all. Parchment paper, I think, is something that's really useful that you should have in your kitchen. Okay, what I wanna do here is I really wanna get this foil tight. So that's gonna steam? Yes. The peppers? That's right. All right, so 25. Then you remove the parchment paper and the foil, 15 more minutes, and then if you want it a little golden, hit the broiler for two minutes. Okay, we'll be back. I have the taste tester back. You haven't been here in a long time. 
Yeah, everybody's like, where's James? He was at basketball camp, right? Basketball camp just finished. Yeah, so we got stuffed peppers here. We do, and they're gonna be hot. It's good. Yeah, wait. So what is it? Ground beef, rice, cheese? Yeah. I like it. Yeah. yeah. It's like, you made something like this before, right? Yeah, so I make, I make, these are similar to the ones I normally make. You sometimes use sausage in them. I do, I, and I tell people I use them with the stuffed Cubanellas that's on the site too. I do, do I do like the ground beef more. You do like the ground beef more, yeah. huh? All right, buddy. Well, what do you, you want to uh, give it a rating? Mm -hmm. So what did you say, you, you tried it with the basil? Yeah, I tried it with the basil, it's good. I put uh, basil leaves for garnish, but there's a lot inside of it too. Yeah, I'll have another bite. Yeah. I like it with the basil. I want a bite. This is hard. Like, Haven't done it in a long time. I gave it an eight. An eight. Yeah. Okay. I was a little surprised what was wrong with it and what would have gotten it uh, higher. So what seasoning did you put in it? I did basil, parsley, oregano, and um, salt and pepper. I think what would have been good is if like you added a little bit of like spice to it. I put hot pepper in it. Like more, but yeah, like like so it's like a little spicy, like Calabrian. Yeah, kind of like so you can like t so it's like spicy flavored. I agree like, with that. Honestly, like it's it's a really good meal, even with the spicy flavor. I'll give it a nine because I don't know, like I can't really like think about it, like what else I would improve. But no, it's good. Next one is gonna be salmon oregano, James. You'll see that in a couple weeks. He will see that in about two hours. Two hours. <laughs>